Good job. I apologize to everybody for cutting up the super yes. cute blanket. And it's so yeah, cute. it's the cute one. So well, I wanted like opposite, like slightly different colors okay. in them because especially when you're learning, it's a whole. Yeah, if any of you are familiar with working with fleece, is this leaves fleece dust everywhere. Yep. Yeah, I had to stop at work today. It was all over my outfit. I was like, okay. <laughs> it doesn't stretch, but if you pull it this way, it does. <laughs> Look at you, you're gonna have your own YouTube channel. Actually with two strips per set here, which makes it super easy for pulling them apart to start doing braids. Because, especially when you're first learning, like I said, you kind of want two different colors so it's easy to tell them apart. So, you start with two obviously different colors. And... It doesn't really matter how you put them together, but I do like to alternate them because it makes it easier when we get to the next step. So you're going to take one set of each. You're going to layer them like that. And then it's just simply tie a knot in the end. And depending on how much of a tail you want, can do that. So if you two want to grab a set, you don't want to hold it in one hand and then just spread them out to the cardinal points. So north, south, east, west, and you kind you want to try to do it so that the same colors are opposite each other. So if you have two lights and two darks, have the lights north and south, the darks east and west. Okay? So, from here, I always start from the left, and you use your thumb to keep a loop right here. Are you ready for no. this? <laughs> I, ha I thought I had it right. Okay, so just the hold the knot in one hand, and then, yep. Are you right handed or left handed? Depends on the day. Seriously. We'll get the first couple done and then she'll decide what she wants to do on this. You're going to take the first one and you're going to go over. And you want to make sure it's above the one on the other side. And the first stitch is the hardest. I will be dead honest. Okay, so then you're going to come from the top. And you're going to come over and you want to make sure it stays to the right of your bottom strip. You're going to take the strip from the right here, come over, top that, and make sure it goes under where your loop is over your thumb. You're... You're facing in opposite directions. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, that's just no. Let me grab it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the problem is. And then just your next step is going to have this one come over this one and through where your thumb is. So that you get four. Oh. That's so it looks like a lattice work. Yep, pop, lattice pop. work. Makes more sense when I did the last stitch, right? <laughs> well, actually, I just I think I did that one. Hey, quit it. Pull everything as tight as you can. And like I said, the first stitch is a little awkward just because you're not working against a square bottom. You and I get the same result, but we North, probably south, east, west. <laughs> yeah, no, I like I think it's the next stitch that you're oh, doing different than one. what I do. Cut my finger when I was cutting. Actually, <clears throat> okay. This one. I'll let you pause that, and I'll go. And you're just going to bring it back over, and 
then tap down, left to right, and then bottom up and through. and pull it tight so that you end up with all of your threads back where they started. Okay. Hmm. So you're going to start away <laughs> the first few times, but... See, mine looks funky. Then I, like, made my movements smaller and smaller. That's how I can do one in 30 minutes. Because mm. I don't do all the wide movements anymore. So oh. you have them held... I just hold it so that it's square like this. My square looks funny. And then I'm always... But see, I don't have one for the top. Yeah, you do. This one's so... I don't know. I'm opposite each time. And you, you said just... start with the top one. Would this be the top one this time? Went over from the right. I'm keeping it on the top so it's going across the top. So it's coming across this way, going right back across that way. Top one's coming down. And again, this one, we're just coming down exactly straight where it was. Okay. okay. This one comes over from this side. Again, exactly across where the previous stitch was for it. And then the bottom one comes up over this one and through. Yeah. From the bottom. This. Right? Got it. Did you get it?